Hey, what's happening to you guys? Piracy and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Garo. I think I'm saying his name right, Garo? Yeah, well, the character from One Punch Man, the one that wanted to be a monster. I have to say, this character is perhaps probably the best character that came out of this season completely. He is hands down one of the most well-written characters. His progression throughout this season just was entertaining to watch. It is the first time that we actually got a character that we ended up rooting for to succeed in his mission to become a monster. And what I found very interesting about Garu as a character is that even though he wanted to become a monster and he wanted to really be on the side of villainy I guess, he never really lost his humanity until Bang <laughs> until Bang beat the absolute shit out of him in the last episode um, of season 2. Like, I'm trying to remember, but they never exactly explained why Bang really just wanted to beat the shit out of him. Like, when he fought him, like, here's the thing, right? Okay, before I go into this, I just have to say, Garo is a fucking beast. This man went fight after fight after fight after fight. Never bitching. Okay, he, he, he did complain about the situation, but he never bitched about his um, situation. Like, there's a difference between complaining about it and, you know, admitting to your situation and bitching about it. This man, whenever it was time to fight, he pushed his limits above and beyond. Sometimes even, you would probably assume he's about to go Super Saiyan with the amount of boundaries he was pushing. He is just pure, like, ugh. The thing is, I know he'll he'll never be able to beat um, Saitama, but he just gives me that hope that he could possibly do it. Like, out of all the characters that we've that we've seen in the One Punch Man um, series, Garo is the first character that actually somewhat convinces you that he might actually beat Saitama, even though Saitama has knocked him out. I don't know how many times, three times now. He, he still gives you that vibe that give him some time, give him some training, he may actually push his limit. And he has that ambition, that fiery ambition that would kind of propel him to a level of monstrosity that he's actually aiming to get to. And I feel like the last season, the last episode of this season kind of showed when Garo went from being human and going into a monster like the moment he got defeated the moment he accepted that he lost the fight he became a monster now i don't know how his hair changed from white to red i don't know if it's just when he when he kind of scuffed his hair i thought maybe he, the blood in his hands kind of turned his hair red which was kind of weird but that could be signifying that he just became the monster that he's trying to become like he's tr he's trying to become the ultimate monster and Saitama, pretty much, he went and became the ultimate hero. So, I know there's Bang, they, not, is it Bang? Sorry, what's his name? Blast. They mentioned the name Blast in this season, so we don't know how powerful this guy is, but we know that he was able to kind of take down, or not take down, defeat the centipede, the big monster centipede that obviously Saitama took down with one punch. But, essentially, I feel like if anybody is at least, at the very least, um, is going to be able to make Saitama maybe put up a little bit of an effort, it might be Garo. Like, he is one of the most satisfying hero to villain character that we've seen throughout. And obviously, the thing is, is that when he fights, you cheer for him. You don't even realize this, but you, when you fight, when he fights, he you cheer for him. When he got jumped by both Genos and um, Genos Bang's brother and by himself when when they all jumped this man you couldn't help but say this is bullshit Garo needs to stay in this like this this was the first time I was like oh please don't let don't let them kill Garo so quickly but um yeah that was like man that, that was a really good season like I know a lot of people still complain about the animation I mean it's not as much as it was at the beginning but people kind of still always nag the animation stuff like that and I will admit there were points in these episodes where I felt like they should have gone all out with the animation and just showed the fight, which they did, but it wasn't like, you know, whatever. But anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. I just wanted to talk about it because, um, this episode, that episode, man, that was, that was intense. Like, you know, after this fight, 
I can't respect Bang. Like, that was bullshit. You saw the man was weakened, he was bleeding, you probably can sense that his chi is waning down, but you still jumped this man. Bro, they jumped him like a bitch. Nah. Yeah, Bang's brother, Bang himself, and Genos, they're all bitches. They're, they're all bitches. I, I don't care. I, they lost respect for me. <laughs> How you gonna jump in man who's bleeding to death? That's so pussy ass shit. That's some bitch ass shit right there. That's why I was really happy that ba and Garo was able to escape. And hopefully he'll get stronger. Hopefully he really becomes like the uh, the monster that he wants to become so that we can see some epic fights in season three if they get you know if it gets licensed or you know whatever. And hopefully we get a different um studio doing that season, maybe. I know I don't know the name of the studio that did this season, but I would prefer if it, season 3 was, you know, went back to the original studio that did season 1. I think that would be pretty cool itself. But um, yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Paris, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.